Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Talk and Moments. It's another Wednesday, guys. I wish I could break dance right now, but yeah, I'm still working on my dancing skills. I am so excited. Today was the funniest day ever. I've got to give you guys the gist. I don't know if you guys have seen this viral video. This guy talking about shit single girls say to themselves to reality dance on them i watched it and i must say i thought it was really funny you know maybe 70 percent of the things he said were quite right we've all been there okay let's not even kid around as women everyone has those lists the reason why i'm talking about this is to talk about standards because everyone has them high low in between things that you think that you can't do without things that you think that you can compromise on because hey life is all about compromise right as a very young girl maybe about 18 19 the list is so long things that you will never take you know if a guy treats you a certain way mm -mm, he's a player if he wears necklace mm -mm, he's a player if he talks a certain way mm -mm, i don't want that kind of guy he must be handsome he must be tall he must be rich yes every girl wanted that a guy who is funny who has money who is tall and who is good looking you realize as you grow older and you tend to meet other people the things that really matter begins to reveal itself to you that being said please do not apologize for having standards men have it too men are worse i like it because they're watching me so they can hear me now you hear a guy hmm, telling you that he wants a girl who has perfect dentition yes they do it a guy will go out with a girl only because she has big breasts mm -hmm. They do it. If that is not shallow, please tell me what it is. Eh? Because you guys are quick to castigate women. Women are these. They are too choosy. They are too picky. You think you are not choosy or picky? Girls, don't be deceived. This man, half of the confusion that is in the world today is caused by this man. A man will say he does not want a girl that walks. She swears. A girl that looks like Naomi Campbell, tell me, do you look like Tyson Beckford? A girl that comes from a certain tribe. Mm -hmm. So what is wrong with the other tribes that are there? Hmm? A girl that went to the school the Queen of England went to itself and you went to a polytechnic. A girl that her father is rich yet your own father is a carpenter. Yes, they do it. The reason why men marry these days, if you hear some reasons there, you'll be weak. And you know the unreality is marriage. It's so funny how you can laugh at women and say, yes, women say they want this, they want that. But when age is ticking by and they don't find a husband, then they readjust. Then these stupid men that are hungry, these Oluchu Kokoro boys, they end up marrying the certain type that they think they are attracted to. Two years now. Oh, she wasn't what she seemed to be. Did you look closer? Is it not the greed that made you go there? Eh? Do not crucify anybody for having standards because you also have. Men are worse. A man will say, I broke up with her because of the way she laughs. Yes, they do it. I broke up with her when I saw her feet. Ah, ladies, do not be deceived. Men, they do it. I broke up with her because her mother ties rapper. Yes. Your mother is pounding him or cutting okra in the living room. Who are you to sit back and judge? Oh, she's not a virgin. I love that part. How many of them have you slept with? Hmm? Did you marry them? Did you not use them and leave them? And you're looking for saints, eh? Men will do, do, do and hope that eventually they can just settle down with a girl that, oh, she's just quiet. Oh, she doesn't say much. Yes, you, you'll not be killing yourself. Maybe I should just settle. Men don't settle. They don't. A man can never marry you out of pity. Let me just tell you now. If a man is telling you you marry somebody out of pity, he's lying. Men are selfish. They look for their own interests. My ladies, have your standards. Please, as long as you're realistic. Okay, as long as you know that what you're looking for is not on another planet entirely. And even if it does not come in one year, two years, three years, don't let them deceive you by saying there's no husband in town. Said to do you think this wife? That's why they marry the ones they marry, they'll not be sleeping in night club. Oh, she's a witch. You didn't see that before. After all, the breast you thought attracted you to her. Now it has fallen, she's breastfeeding. It's no longer the same thing. You now want to run. Can you see your life? Can you see your life? So when next you want to do a video and say shit single girls tell themselves ask yourself how unrealistic some men sound when they're looking for this thing called wife eh what is not on this earth what they are not they are looking for you want a girl who her father is rich because uh, the one that is poor is not on your level i be and there are many of them around today do not apologize for having standards that's what i'm talking about today have those standards well but be very realistic ladies yeah because when we're young we all want these things we say these things carelessly and as you grow older it's not about age or marriage or lack of husband it's just you know your perspective changes how you view life changes what you think matters 
ends up not really being a big deal and you can compromise on that. For those guys, he who is without sin, cast the first stone. If you know in your heart that you are not shallow and you don't have those leads that are unrealistic, you know, the way she laughs or how she dresses. Ah, yes, some men are married women because of how they dress. Don't be funny. Some men are married women because, oh, she's just flashy and she seems like a trophy. And when my friends see, they will say, yes, this is correct. They are that shallow. Some of them, they married her because they believe that she fits into their lifestyle. So why should you apologize for having your standards? Please, any man that wants to walk out on you because he thinks you have high standards, it's not for you. Tell him to walk in front and go and live with the person that does not have the standards that you have. Don't listen to them. Don't apologize for having those high standards. Please, there's a reason why you have them. You have a certain lifestyle and you believe that this is what you want. Go for it. You wanted that job. It seemed impossible. You got it. Uh -uh. You wanted that car. It seemed impossible. You bought it. So why will you compromise on a man? Please. The things you want that are realistic, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you that your standards are too high. Men have the worst. When you sit down and hear them just with their friends, you'll be weak at the kind of things these men see. What their mothers are not, what their sisters are not, they are looking for out there. And when they don't find it, or when they think they found a semblance of what they think they want, they marry. It's not what it is. Then they are back in the nightclub, looking for young girls to destroy their lives again. Don't apologize for being you. Watch that skit or video or whatever, laugh about it and move on. And still tick your list what you want. Thank you guys for watching my vlog. I really appreciate you guys. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am at Tokesta with a double R. Until I come your way again next week, be good to one another. Goodbye. Have good standards, yo. You want a guy that drives a Lamborghini. Just as long as you're not checking, no. it's okay. You want a guy that lives in Banana Island? Uh -huh. It's alright now. It's not a big deal. You can aim for that. If you find it, just as long as you're not waiting for the guy to be located today. At least help yourself small. Gather some things.